so hello guys i trust you are doing well welcome again to explore 254 today we are going to take you to a special segment of the vika super highway and as you can see i am driving along vika highway and i am headed to town i know we have shown you enough of vika road but there is an important part that we feel that is important for us to discuss it with you and this is how the vika super highway ends as you enter to town so where i am currently i am at the gara market i know if you take matatus or you use your private car and end up in town commercial then you know uh, uh, something about the globe roundabout i mean globe roundabout and that is the part i want us to discuss i want to help you understand why there is always traffic jam around this place whether you go to town during traffic hours or off traffic hours there are always cars clogged a big backlog of cars along this road as you can see on the left side my left side kunagari already that want to take the lower side of the globe roundabout so that they can join maybe uhuru highway go to westland go to kilimani and then the lane that i am using the upside of the globe uh, roundabout are those cars that are headed to tomboya and also to koja koja stage so why is it that this place has always very dense traffic there are always so many cars around this place actually you can see even there are so many hawkers who operate around this place because they know any car at any given time will have to stop here because of the jam when entering town and this is a simple logic because we have shown you several parts of vika road and the part that enters town uh, the part of vika road that leads you to the to the globe roundabout actually it has four lanes you get and when you exclude the service lane it has four lanes so it means that there are so many cars that are coming to town using vika road just to arrive to this place and then it becomes two lane so you can imagine so that is the first factor that creates a lot of car backlog around this place secondly is uh due to the existence of a big stage just in front of the roundabout so you know there is koja those people who know town just past globe roundabout you'll find koja stage then past koja stage you join tomboya tomboya is the busiest street in nairobi ever in terms of matatu operation and sometimes you know matatus don't follow the law they don't follow the rules they will carry people from the middle of the road people will board and off board from anywhere sometimes unless there is supervision of the county askaris so those are some of the key contributors in my experience that have caused a lot of jam along this place any day you come here unless on sunday you will always get traffic so that is something that people maybe have never understood because when people most people get to this point already wana kuanga kwa mat wa shadows they have given up they just want to to get to their destination but this is the pain in the ass like yani you can't get to your destination because of koja roundabout on time so that is the key thing as we move forward i'm trying to to fast track so that i don't show you the jam but we were stuck around this place for over 30 minutes so that's why i'm trying to remove the places where there were no movement you can see guys who are well dressed in ties and stuff they just drop off the matatu and complete the rest of their journey by foot so that's how it is so where we are headed at the moment we're gonna go to the koja koja roundabout that is all the koja stage that's what people call it you see this is the main entrance for almost all matatus that use the road apart from zenyezina and angara you see a lot of matatus here entering town some you will see they will drop and pick from anywhere so on the right is where we have the koja roundabout yeah so koja roundabout is on our right and now as we proceed we will join tomboya yeah 
so come with us you will see a guy here who will jump and hang into a matatu yeah you see that guy you see that guy you see so the bus had to slow a little bit to pick him and then they proceed at the normal speed remember we are fast tracking the video so that i don't take uh, much of your time so this is another busy street it's tomboya it's as busy as you can imagine there are so many cars all i think all the bus stages in town in one way or the other they come through tomboya so you see cars that intercept you at any point and just cut you short you have to let them go you see here the almatatus dropping from in between the road so the the ripple effect or the extended effect of these cars that drop on the road is what is felt on the other side of the uh, roundabout so guys i hope i have taught you something small you know we are just upcoming uh youtubers uh with passion to educate and to demonstrate and to show our country to the outside world uh so this is koja this is our uh, sorry this is tomboya you can see from both sides of the road from both sides of the road you will see matatus lined up you see matatus lined up and yeah it, it's a hectic place to drive especially if you have a, a, a private car because you, you will one way or the other have to to fight your way through with the matatus them they don't mind because the bodies of their cars are quite strong and yours is yeah is fresh paint so you need to be careful and if possible you try to avoid to the left here is the Odeon is a, another big matatu stage so guys uh, that is it from us now I think once you are in this point you are able to to navigate the the, ta the rest of the town at peace I hope yeah so thank you guys if you are new here please remember to subscribe so that you can support us and then we will be happy guys yeah let's 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 keep it explore 254 and may god bless you enjoy your time and see you in our next video goodbye for now